Yep. Robert Brown never thought he'd be living like this. No, we're just trying to get by. All of his possessions crammed into an old 30-foot motorhome, moving from place to place. Scary. Scary. Uh, it's embarrassing. Brown and his partner, Matthew Franchuk, came to Vernon a few weeks ago on a promise they could park their RV on private land. But that didn't pan out. Even just a place to park this where we could have a little garden, have the dogs, we're quiet. Uh, we don't party, we don't have a bunch of people over, we just want a place to be. Now, they're among a growing number of people living in RVs and vans on city streets here. Municipal bylaws limit them to one spot for 48 hours. So, they spend their days moving from one place to the next as they search for a permanent place to rent or live out of their motorhome. Outreach workers try to keep in touch and offer what support they can. That doesn't include housing, even temporary, because of the shortage here. I have never seen it this bad. It's a combination of things. Inflation is massive. People's mortgages going up. We have staff that are struggling to be, and they're they're employed full time, and they're struggling to find an affordable place to live. The city of Vernon says it's received numerous complaints about permanently parked RVs. A discussion on the issue at City Council has been deferred until September. And until that happens, Mayor Victor Cummings says he's not prepared to talk about it. Meanwhile, housing advocates say the situation is only getting worse for people pushed to the margins. You know, you're, it, it's 38 degrees out and you're living in an RV with no green space, nowhere to go. You're being shooed away constantly. You have to move your RV 40, every 48 hours. It's, it's not acceptable for a society that we live in. We can do better. That's a sentiment Brown and Franchuk agree with. And it's kind of like if you don't have that stability, if you don't have the home base, it's hard to move up from there. Instead of moving up to some level of housing security, they're forced to move on once again. Brady Strachan, CBC News, Vernon.